Yo, how's it going everyone? Matei here. Today I'm gonna be playing the Nemesis and I'm gonna be showing you my regular build that I run on this killer. Basically the perks are Barbecue and Chili for some extra information and for some extra blood points. Pop goes the weasel in order for me to have a slowdown. Infectious Sprite for me to have some information. And I'm all the ears in order for me to have some more information while I'm gonna be in the chase. Basically this is gonna be the perk combo. So uh, yeah guys, if you enjoy the content make sure to consider subscribing or to follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming there every single day. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see how the first game is gonna go. Okay, so for the first game we are gonna have Family Residence. Let's go. Ooh, I see someone near the shack and someone is actually working on this generator, so this is gonna be a little bit... Good for me! Are we gonna take the window? David? Why are we slow vaulting that? You know that I can hit you, right? Okay, vaulting this. What is this David doing? David. Why are we throwing the shack pilot at like 5 generators? That doesn't make any sense. And speaking about sense... Uh... Claudette, can you please leave my... Uh, no, it be? I wanna have no at the end of the game. Yoink. That's gonna be tier 2 because of Marvin's blood. She doesn't have anything to work with over here, but this one has like a lot of hours in the game, so. This is gonna be a little bit tricky for me to down. Nice. And now let's see uh, I'm Odir's value. I know that the zombie is, uh, is heading towards the corner of the map. So someone else is gonna be over there. And I'm not sure how that didn't connect, but... Oh, because I'm not gonna be in tier 3, never mind. And this is gonna be so good. David already used the, the supply case. But I need to down her ASAP, like yesterday. Credit, can you please, like, I don't know, go down? That'll be a little bit good. I have no idea how that connected, but I'm gonna take it. And two gens have popped in that chase, seriously. I don't think that that was like a two gen chase, but you know, it is what it is. This is gonna be tier 3, so I'm gonna be a little bit of a juggernaut. But right now I need to do like all the good steps in order for me to win. If I make one single mistake, probably like I'm gonna lose the game. Okay, let's get this window out of the way. I'm on the earth's value. Chief. The good old crouching technique. And the good old house with the uh, 500 windows. Yoink. Can actually hit up through this. Hiding the red light. And dead. Okay, with barbecue and chili I know that someone is actually working on this generator. And I know that like two survivors are gonna be over here. So, uh, let me yoink this generator. And now let's get some, uh, some progression over that. This threat is gonna be on the second phase. Yeah, she's not gonna have any pedals to work with over here, Chief. Like, what are we doing? Ooh, that was a good move. Look at the distance that she got on me. Yoink. And if I'm gonna down you before another generator is gonna pop, that's gonna be like the best thing ever. Yet I'm not too certain at this jungle gym. Nice. Yoink. A good part in all of this is the fact that they didn't finish up the gen in the big house. So that's gonna be a little bit boggers for me. I'm gonna go to... Oh my god, dude. I hate using my weapon. A survivor is gonna be like 2 meters away from me. If they're gonna be a little bit far away, like let's say 2 or 3 meters, like I can hit those any day of the week. But if a survivor is actually like nearby me, I, I simply just can't do that. So, uh... See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, David. This is gonna hit. Yep. But you were way too close on the first time. And uh, Elodie. That was my bad. I can actually hit you over here, I believe that I can. Uh... Excuse me? How in the world did that didn't connect? Like on a real. Yoink. Let me injure as many people as possible. Claudette, we already know that you're gonna have decisive chief. Like there's no point on me going for you. And with a little bit of luck... Okay, that actually connected. Nice. And I believe that I can actually down you at this jungle gym without breaking the pallet. This was an interesting chase to say the least. And by the time that I'm gonna hook you, Claudet is not gonna have decisive strike, so I can actually go for her. Okay, someone is hitting in the basement. Like what the what is that guy doing over there? Yo David, Chief, can you please like uh, get out? Have you actually figured on the on the fact that I have barbecue and chili? I'm gonna let you over there because like the uh, this is gonna be free map pressure. 
And you know what? I changed my mind. I used Pago as the wizard on that generator, and uh, let me get David on this hook in order for me to gain another Pop Goes the Weasel stack. And yo, Chief, look at this. This is gonna be the perfect situation. One is gonna be in the basement, another one is gonna be over here, and they are still popping generators. Like, why am I going for the, for the whip every single time? I know that this is gonna be a little bit addicting, but still. Let's see what this guy is doing in the basement. Like, if that credit is gonna save, she's not gonna have decisive strike for sure, and everyone is gonna be injured, so... And I don't think they have many more supply cases to work with. Yoink. And just in case David is gonna have decisive, let me get Ilodi in the basement yet again. Okay, those guys are like doing chests? Seriously, David? Like, what is up with that? I'm gonna keep you slugged, just in case like you're gonna hit me with a surprise. And uh, this Crowdet should be done hook. She was clicking the flashlight at me when she actually had decisive. The yeah, Crowdet, I, I, I got you, I got you. No worries. Hiding the red light. And yoink. Getting her injured, hiding the red light again. And uh, yoink. Good mind games, good mind games. I'm kinda sad over the fact that like I didn't get like 12 hooks and I'm not gonna get 12 hooks this game, but yeah, well, it is what it is. Crud is gonna uh, David is gonna be in the corner of the map, so I might just well hook you because I don't wanna get hit with uh, unbreakable or something special. And yeah, David is gonna be over there, so this is gonna be GGWP. Yoink. David is gonna be over there, like, watching me. Yo, David, am I gonna be a cutie? No, I'm not a yoink. And if you're not gonna go for the save, well, this is gonna be your death sentence. Well, this was your death sentence to begin with, but still. Oh, that, that, that's gonna be Claudette's first took. I just realized. I thought that I, I hooked her before. Yoink. And uh, let's see how the second game is gonna go, though. Okay, and for the second map, I requested the Harem Field that I haven't decided on because uh, I want to talk about something. Okay, Megan is gonna be upstairs, and uh, I have no clue why Yoink, why Behavior is not like reworking this map. I know that, like they said, they, they are, that they are gonna add like more maps when every single map is gonna be reworked. Yet, if you think about it, it's been like six months, and this map, like in this state, is still gonna be in the game, and bro. I watched so many streamers and I watched so many content creators. They don't like this map. Like this map is gonna be like I don't even know how to how to describe it. Behavior has like four five more maps to rework. Haddonfield, uh what else? Uh, Mother's Dwelling, the Temple, and the Swamp maps. Okay, I'm gonna hook Mega Megan over here. And usually, like whenever someone in Red Ranks is gonna like request this map, I'm not even gonna bother. Like uh, I'm just gonna play the game. Hopefully I'm gonna get four barbecue stacks and that's about it, because uh infinites and stuff like that. And like, look at this in this situation, I hooked Megan on this side of the map, I know that this generator has been worked on, but at the same time, the generators on the other side, that are gonna be in like, at the second floor, at the top, like, I don't know, at bottom floor in the House of Pain, those generators are gonna be worked on. How am I supposed to go over there to, to imply some air pressure? Like, this is not gonna make any sense. And, uh, Adam, what are we doing? And I'm still waiting, like, five, five months in, I'm still waiting for the devs to say, yo dude, we are gonna rework every single map because we can. They did, it, they did it in the past with like the McMillan days. They reworked every single map in one single patch. Five maps in one single patch, that was actually amazing. But in this scenario, no, we have to deal with the House of Pain, we have to deal with the Strode House, and we are gonna have like another strong loops, like even this is gonna be an infinite. Look at this. If Adam had light, like he could have looped that like another time, that would have mean like another generator. So, uh, so yeah, I'm actually molding. Like look at those survivors. Do they actually feel like they're gonna be the greatest? No! Are they gonna win the game? Oh, that was like my... Uh, that was entirely my bad. But, uh, yeah, well, that is what it is. What can you do about it? Uh, Adam, are you camping that battle seriously, man? Against the nemesis? Do you know what? Like, still, this game is gonna be an L. Sometimes I lose games, sometimes I win games. That didn't break it. Uh, okay. Adam, please, dude. Allow me to allow you. But yeah, Kate is gonna be over here, and Kate is gonna be not, not even infected. Those guys are working on the generator on the other side of the map, so... Yeah, well, that's gonna be an L. I can't reach that place. I need a chainsaw. I need Nemesis to actually spawn a chainsaw. Okay, she's gonna take this window. That is gonna be connected conveniently to this window. And connected to this pallet. Can I actually reach you? I'm not gonna go for it, though. Nice. She actually got infected. 
and she's gonna go oh you can hit through that uh, well Kate do you believe that oh no she's gonna take this window that is gonna be connected to another pallet great map setup and don't get me wrong behavior actually has the license to actually rework this map but they don't want to for whatever reason it feels like they hang on this head and feel like vision that like this map is gonna be perfect and look at this like she, she like by only duping two windows she gained one extra minute in chase do i believe that she did well well on this map yeah but she's not looking behind she's not doing anything i don't know crazy good survivor though but still Oh yes, in 3 minutes in, uh, 4 generators have been popped and they are working on the last one. Like, how was I supposed to actually win this? Like, I only missed like one whip on Adam in the House of Pain and that's it. Yet again, I'm still gonna try to go for like 4 barbecue stacks. I'm still trying to go for as many hooks as possible. And maybe they are gonna make a mistake, who knows. This Steven is... I was actually rambling the whole match, I can't complain about me losing. Come on. Uh, Steve, if you don't have balanced landing, bro, like this is not gonna be the best thing that you could ever possibly do. Oh, we are gonna have this one though. This is gonna be an infinite against a killer that like doesn't have a great empty, by the way. Okay, didn't saw nobody working on gens, so uh, I'm gonna go after this gate, even though she's gonna be the best survivor in the squad. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna engage in this chase, but we shall see. Those guys are gonna be on the other side of the map, so I need to teleport over there and do something. Because like by bare feet, by pressing W, that's gonna take me five years. Okay, the crouch technique, you gotta love it, and the great wall of Adam field, like, look at, look at this wall. Okay, nice crouch, she's gonna be a good survivor. She actually is. Okay, nice. Oh, that guy had deliverance, so those guys are working on the gens, like, not only this map is, this map sucks, but, uh, they have 500 second chances. Because that's gonna be fun and interactive. Dude, this guy this guy just knows. And she's gonna combine it to this window as well. Great map setup, like uh, how am I supposed to all play this? Mati, just don't engage in this chase. Like you should like break chase. Yeah, and go for the other one, for the other survivor. That is gonna be literally in the the house of pain on the other side of the map. Yoink. So this is gonna be my fifth too, and I'm still waiting for those guys to make some mistakes. Ooh, Steve, how's it going, dude? I see that you're gonna be over here. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna hook you, you're gonna be my sixth one, and this is gonna be quite a good, uh, good, uh, good result on this map. Yoink! You did some mistakes over there, Chief. So uh, let me get you on the hook. Ooh, and someone is actually going for the save. Yo, Mowgli, how's it going? I believe that I can get you. If only I had say the best for last. If only, and this is gonna be my seventh hook. Those survivors did some mistakes. This was not like the end of the world. Them popping the generators in like two minutes. Yoink. And I know that the whole squad is gonna be nearby, so let me get my hook since I'm gonna be here. Kate. Get away from me, Chief. I know that you're gonna have Dead Heart, so you're not gonna make me swing another one. Oh well. No. She's not gonna wiggle, dude. She needs to, to take... You guys need to take like 500 more hits. And Kate, because of that, this is gonna be... Your absolute demise. Nobody's gonna be over here, because like... Infectious right? This guy's gonna head out. Nice. I need to force that guy out, though. Nice. And uh, let's see if this guy is gonna go for the save. No, she, he, no, he's not. I know that I'm gonna have a hook over here. And this is gonna be my A2. And I believe that I can hook you. Yoink. You're gonna be dead. And Mowgli is gonna head towards this. Safe. Nice. No borrow time. And let me get you. If I'm gonna go for Steve over there, Megan is gonna crawl out then. Well, see. Uh, everyone was... No, not everyone was dead and hooked. Dead Adam was only hooked once. But at the same time, we got like 9 hooks out of this game. Out of a requested Adam Field map, but yo guys, let me know, should Behavior actually rework every single map that they haven't reworked in the next patch? Because don't get me wrong, Green Pantry is gonna be quite like another story for me to tell, but uh, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, sorry for rambling in the second part of the game. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time, peace and have a great rest of the night boys, bye.